Hey what's up guys as you may know about how to activate and deactivate plugins from plugin dashboard in WordPress but in this video i am going to show you how to activate and deactivate plugins from code so let's start so in my functions.php file of the theme there is a function which will trigger activate and deactivate so in this function there is a check first in this check i am checking if the current user has permission to activate plugins then it will proceed otherwise it will trigger this message you do not sufficient permission to activate plugins for this site so after that i am getting the value from database which is saved in active plugins meta so option value is saved in database so in the database of the wordpress there is a table wp option in this table i have to search for this meta so as you can see it has value and i am going to unserialize this value so in this value there is a plugin name and path it means it is activated as you can see the plugin name which is showing just there it is also activated so after that it is not empty then i have an array of active plugins which i need to activate so how can you know about the folder name and file name so there is a filter to check these values i am going to uncomment this and in this function i have print the plugin file path and i am going to refresh this page to check it is showing or not so as you can see it, the path is showing there you just have to copy it and you have to paste in this array just like that after that i have run the forage on this array and in this forage i am checking if this plugin which is coming from there is not in this array of active plugins then it will proceed otherwise it will do nothing after in this check i am pushing the plugins into plugin it means it is merging to itself in this array and after that i am updating this value first i have got the value then i am updating my latest values in which i have merged this array so i have updated this value and after that i am going to uncomment it to check it just you have to refresh it so as you can see all the array of the plugins which i have there is activated now i have activated the plugins but i am going to do deactivate it so to deactivate it you have to uncomment the activation code then you have to deactivate code so in this check i am checking if plugin is already activated then it will proceed so after that there is a function of wordpress to deactivate plugins so i am going to refresh this page again to check if it is working or not so as you can see it is deactivated so guys as you can see i have successfully activated the plugins and also i have deactivated the plugins so guys if you find my video useful don't forget like subscribe and share thanks for watching